breath of one word. Yeah, it's not through negligence, one. whether overtly or covertly. One is not through negligence. Covertly means you're hiding that you're doing it. Shall be expelled from the council and be uh, from negligence, they wouldn't do this. And return no more. No man of honor shall mix with him in person. See, the translation is very important, which is why you should compare several translations and take your pick. But here's by, if he did so by accident, you see, he shall be excluded from the pure meal. So accident is treated after that, you see. But if he then perfects his way, he can return. Okay, I'm going to stop here pretty much, go to the war scroll. See if there's anything else that is puzzling you here. More in the column nine about the free will offering being a free will offering. Being walkers in perfection, line six. Being separated as a house of holiness. Uh, and then finally, a very important passage is line 11 in column 9. Nor shall they turn aside. This repeats itself. Any count on any, from any council of the Torah to walk in suffering of their heart, they shall be judged according to the judgments of the first forefathers, in which the men of the community were instructed until the prophet and the Messiah of Aaron and Israel shall come, or come. Again, it is singular. The prophet is singular and the Messiah of Aaron and Israel is singular. Now they have two people. And in Ebionite, Jewish Christian thought, the true prophet is one of the basis of their ideology. The prophet is either John the Baptist or Jesus in their thinking. I'm not sure that's what these people here think, but John the Baptist is that prophet. Uh, Jesus is known in uh, pseudo-Clementine literature as the true prophet. Uh, and Mani was called the true prophet. They, all these guys called themselves. Muhammad called himself the prophet. They all called themselves this because it's part of that Ebionite doctrine. I'm not saying these people are promoting. He was smart. He called Jesus. himself the final prophet. Uh, Muhammad, yeah, the final prophet. Okay, but he was picking up from Mani. Anyhow, we read all this. Uh, to separate a virus, and here line 14 is the sons now of the Tzaddik, not Zadok. In other words, there's an article in it, so that's a third way of it. Some people say these are scribal errors, I don't think so. It has to do with righteousness. Uh, how, uh, here now we do have the plural righteous ones according to their spirit and fortify the elect of the age according to his will, etc., 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 etc. Nor shall he admonish and argue with the men of the pit. He shall conceal the counsel of Torah from the men of unrighteousness. He shall, uh, you know, comfort them with knowledge to walk perfectly again, each with his neighbor, and all that has been revealed to them. For this is the time, the second time we did it before, of making a way in the wilderness. Repeat it a second time. And these are the rules of the way for the guide, relating to their loving and hating. <laughs> again, we get it, everlasting hatred for the sons of the pit and spirit of secrecy, to leave them to their riches and the toil of their hands. Rather, he shall be a man zealous, we are zealous for the law, and his time shall be that of a man zealous for the day of vengeance, to do his will in all the works of his hands as he commanded, etc. Et That's the <laughs> rule. You got it. Now before you go, I want to have a quick look at the war school. And then we're really in good shape. If you don't mind, let's Run over here to the war school. These are all found in cave one. We are so lucky. These are complete documents. Uh, I'll have to use worm for the war scroll because I don't have it. Um, I don't have it translated. Let me see if I can dig worm out of here. Okay, I've got worm, and I'll do the commentaries later. Here's worm in my hand. Here, just give me ten more minutes, and we'll go. This is the K1. That's what we used to do at college. Chuggle. Did you guys ever do that? <laughs> chuggle up, chuggle up, chuggle up, chuggle up. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that in here since the old days. <coughs> now I do it with soda water. Okay. War scroll. Here we go. This is really important too. This is easy though. This is not difficult. For the master, I'm following Vermesh, the rule of war, 
We've heard about the sons of light. Light. I'm unleashing the attack of the sons of light. Okay, this is our martial thing for the sons of light. The other was the organization text for the sons of light, right? Now we're ready to go out and confront the bastards. Against the company of the myth, sons, sons of darkness, the army of Satan. That may be Belial. I'd have to look as often he was translating uh, uh, Satan for Belial. Probably is Belial. This is an older translation. Has he changed it to Belial now? Yes. yes. Okay. I got the old translation. It's got some marks in it, so I don't want to use it. Anymore. Against the band of Edom, Moab, and the sons of Ammon. And again, so this is all idealized. And the army of the sons of the, the east and the Philistines and the band of the Kittim of Assyria. This would be, the Katim of Assyria would either be the Seleucids or the uh, Roman troops uh, 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 stationed in, in the north. But look at this. The sons of Levi, Judah, and Benjamin. The exiles of the desert. The diaspora of the desert. So there's three tribes. Only Levi, the priest, Judah, the you know, Israelite royal tribe, etc., and this Benjamin group are like, I think the Benjamin are, are like sort of the um, converts or, um, um, you know, um, probably converts, but Herodians for sure and others like that, but the good Herodians, the ones willing to fight, not all, not all of them were bad. But after the uh, divided kingdom gets split, when the Assyrians take the north out, Judah and Benjamin are the only two tribes left, aren't they? Uh, if you want to be precise, but I'm not sure how precise they are, but still, the, well, I'm interested in how Paul calls himself of the tribe of Benjamin. And what does he mean by calling himself of the tribe of Benjamin? There's no Benjamin left in theory, no tribes left. So, you know, how does he know? I think he calls himself of the tribe of Benjamin because Saul, the king, was from the tribe of Benjamin, and that's his name. But anyway, he likes to pretend that he's of the tribe of Benjamin. Whether he is or not, I don't know. But this is the three groups. They're called the diaspora or exiles of the desert. And they shall battle against, etc., etc., etc. And they are the exiled sons of light. And they're going to return from the desert of the peoples. So they're out in the desert of the peoples. Where is the desert of the peoples? Out in Syria and beyond. The part of the Roman Empire where you have the, the kings of the peoples. Or what in the gospel speaks, Galilee of the Gentiles. But it's really the Fertile Crescent area, you know, where all the peoples are along the Fertile Crescent. So they're out in the desert of the people. So in the last stages of the battle, they're going to move up.